In this video, we're going to talk about how to calibrate the objective lens of a compound light microscope. Now, we need to be able to identify different parts of the microscope and talk about the function of that component. Now, the first component we need to uh, identify is the eyepiece. And this is a binocular microscope. It's a light microscope and it's got two eyepieces. Uh, some microscopes will just have a single eyepiece. Now, each eyepiece has a lens of 10 times magnification within it. Also, what you'll see down at the eyepiece is a small scale called the eyepiece graticule. And we're going to use this later to be able to uh, measure the actual width of different structures that we might view down the microscope. Now, there's four other objective lenses that we could use. Um, sometimes we will start with the four times objective lens. We may use a 10 times objective lens. Sometimes we're going to use the 40 times and very occasionally we might use the 100 times objective lens. So this light microscope has two lenses that we'll end up looking through. One lens in the eyepiece that magnifies 10 times and one lens that is the objective lens that will have a specific magnification. So if we use the four times objective, the overall magnification will be 10 times four, which is 40 times. Now the objective lenses have colored bands on them. So the red band on the right hand side indicates the four times objective. The yellow band, as we can see on the picture, illustrates the 10 times objective lens and the thin blue line represents the 40 times objective lens. So in this picture on the right hand side, um, the scientist is using the 40 times objective lens, which would give us a total of 400 times magnification. Now, in order to move the stage up and down to get our sample into focus, we need to use the adjuster at the back of the microscope. Now, the larger of the two adjusters is called the coarse focus, and this moves the stage up and down in quite large increments. This will allow us to get the image into an approximate uh, focus. Now, in order to find focus the, the sample so it looks a nice sharp image, we're going to use the smaller find focus adjuster. Underneath the stage is the light source. Now, we can modify the intensity of the light source using the light dial on the side. Now, this is a light microscope, so the whole purpose is to be able to shine light through the sample and that light will then pass up the objective lens, up the microscope and through the eyepiece lens into your eye. Obviously, there's a base at the bottom to help support the microscope. And just in front of the coarse and fine focus, we'll find another adjuster. And this adjuster allows us to move the stage back and forth or left to right. So once we've actually focused our sample, we can then start to look around the sample by using our adjuster here. Now, the diaphragm beneath the stage is an adjuster that will allow us to modify the amount of light going through our sample. So we can open or close the diaphragm depending on how much light we want to pass through. Obviously, the stage here is in uh, is in black. We know the stage can move backwards and forwards, but it also has a little clip on the side of it. So once we've placed our microscope slide onto the stage in the metal uh, frame, we can then place the clip over the microscope slide to make sure it's nice and firm in position. Now, in order to calibrate the objective lens, we, we need to use a special microscope slide called a stage micrometer slide. Now, this stage micrometer slide will have a very, very accurate scale in the middle of it that we can look at down the microscope. And that scale will have 100 units. And we call these uh, units stage micrometer units or SMU. Now, if we look at the stage micrometer in a bit more detail, we can actually see that on the uh, side of it, it gives us a scale. So it says this stage micrometer is 10 millimeters in length and it's divided into 100 units. 
So that allows us to work out the actual width of a single stage micrometer unit. So if 100 stage micrometer units equals 10 millimeters, which it says here, we can then just simply divide that by 100 to give us one stage micrometer unit. So one stage micrometer unit is 10 millimeters divided by 100 equals one, sorry, 0 0.1 millimeters. Now, we can use different units of measurement. So we know one millimeter is the same as saying 1,000 micrometers. So quite often we'll convert the millimeters into micrometers. So one stage micrometer unit is 0 0.1 millimeters, which is exactly the same as saying 100 micrometers. Now, before we even use the stage micrometer, before we even put any slide on the stage itself, if we just simply look down the microscope, we will see the eyepiece graticule in the eyepiece. So this is the only scale that we're going to see at the time being. There's nothing on the microscope stage just yet. Now we can see the eyepiece graticule is, it looks like it's from zero to 10, but actually um, it's divided, zero to one is divided by 10 units. So we're interested in eyepiece graticule units that are the small little tiny divisions. So for example here, this small division here will be one eyepiece graticule unit. So this is the eyepiece graticule scale. There's a hundred small units there. We want to try and work out what one single tiny eyepiece graticule unit is worth. Now, if we uh, place the stage micrometer under the four times objective lens. So if we place it on the stage, secure it and get it into focus, we can now see the stage micrometer scale underneath the microscope. Now we're gonna try to align the stage micrometer with the eyepiece graticule next to it. So this scale at the top, this here is the stage micrometer okay and this scale underneath is the eye piece graticule so we want to try and line up the two scales now here we can see if we start at zero on the stage micrometer that's aligned with the zero of the eyepiece graticule and we can see quite clearly that there's 10 stage micrometer units for 40 eyepiece units. So if we start to write this out, we can work out what a single eyepiece unit is worth in terms of actual distance. So we know uh, one stage micrometer unit is worth 0 0.1 millimeters. So 10 stage micrometer units is worth one millimeter because we worked that out previously. So 40 eyepiece units is the same as 10 stage micrometer units. So 40 eyepiece units is one millimeter and one eyepiece unit is quite simply one millimeter divided by 40, which will give us 25 micrometers. So this calibration here, this calculation is the same as saying a thousand micrometers divided by 40. And that will always give you 25 micrometers. So one eyepiece unit, one of the small little divisions on the eyepiece graticule is worth 25 micrometers. Now, if we actually take away the stage micrometer, so if we remove it off the stage, so there you go, it's gone out of the way. We can now put our actual sample underneath the um, microscope objective lens. So imagine we put in, say, some onion cells under the four times objective lens. If we measure the width of an onion cell in eyepiece units, we can actually see here, it's about 13 eyepiece units in width. So we always draw a nice straight line with X to X at the end of it. And here it's 13 eyepiece units long. 
But we've actually already calibrated the eyepiece graticule and we know what a single eyepiece unit is now worth, i.e. 25 micrometers. So to work out the width of our onion cell from X to X, quite simply, we do 13 eyepiece units is 13 times 25 micrometers because one eyepiece unit is 25 micrometers wide. 13 eyepiece units gives us 325 micrometers. So X to X, the width of our onion cell is 325 micrometers. So we could actually add this on here. So 325 micrometers. Now, every time we change the objective lens, we have to recalibrate the microscope. So this time we've gone from the four times objective lens to the 10 times objective lens. But we might notice that the eyepiece graticule scale in the eyepiece is exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. But if we place the stage micrometer scale underneath the 10 times objective lens, we will expect it to be two and a half times bigger than we saw earlier. And that's because the 10 times objective lens is two and a half times more magnification than the four times objective lens. So when we place it underneath, we can see it does look a bit bigger. Now, again, we know a single stage micrometer unit is 0.1 millimeter because that's exactly the same as we worked out at the start of the video. But when we overlay the stage micrometer scale with the eyepiece graticule scale, we'll see five stage micrometer units is the equivalent of 50 eyepiece units. So when we work out the uh, maths involved, we could simply say 50 eyepiece units is the same as five SMU. We know one SMU is 0.1 millimeter. So 50 eyepiece units is the same as saying 0.5 millimeters. Now we know 0.5 millimeters is the same as saying 500 micrometers because there's a thousand micrometers in one millimeter. So one eyepiece unit is 0.5 millimeters or 500 micrometers divided by 50 gives us 10. So a single eyepiece unit division, the small little divisions on the eyepiece graticule are worth 10 micrometers this time, which is actually two and a half times less than what we calibrated for the four times objective lens. So if we uh, remove the stage micrometer slide from beneath the 10 times objective lens, we'll just be left with the eyepiece graticule scale which we've just calibrated. Now, if we place another slide on the stage, maybe the same slide that we used previously with the onion cells, again, we can measure the width of a single onion cell. So here's exactly the same slide that we used before, but obviously it looks two and a half times magnified because it's the 10 times, not the four times objective. Again, if we wish to uh, work out the width of this cell in the middle here, so we can just draw the outline of this cell. So we're going to measure the actual width of that cell. Um, we can actually see the cell walls on the outside of the, of the onion cell because it's a plant cell. We can see the nucleus inside it, but we can't see much else. We, we would need a, an electron microscope to see the fine detail inside the cell. So X to X here is about 30 eyepiece units when we use the um, eyepiece graticule. We've already calibrated the eyepiece graticule, so we can simply now work out that 30 eyepiece units is 30 times 10 micrometers, which gives us 300 micrometers. So X to X is worth 300 micrometers, which is quite similar to the 325 micrometers we worked out using the four times objective lens.